The key to fixing shoulders that are tight all the time is to avoid the four common causes of knots in the shoulders. So in this video I'm going to go over the causes of chronic knots in your shoulders and what you can do to feel loose and light in here again. Muscles love it when they're moving through their full range of motion, contracting and extending a lot. But when they're in isometric contraction, in one position without moving for a long period of time, that's when they start to give us troubles. Small parts of the muscle can get stuck in a contracted state, and that can affect blood flow, and you end up getting buildup of toxins like lactic acid. Now we call that a myofascial trigger point, or a muscle knot. Two muscles in the shoulders, the upper trapezius and the levator scapula, have a tendency to form trigger points. And this makes this area feel tight all the time. To stop the upper traps and levator scap from getting tight and forming knots, we need to avoid the four common causes of isometric contraction, or tension without moving, of these two muscles. The most common cause by far of constant static tension in these two muscles is forward head carriage, forward head posture. So when our head is in a nice and upright position, it's all good, it's balanced nicely. But when a head goes forward, it starts to create a lot of tension in these muscles. And when they're constantly like that, that's when we start to run into troubles. So firstly, avoid the positions that lead to forward head posture. Don't look at your phone with your head down. Prop your elbow on a table, an armrest, or even your own torso. Plug your laptop into an elevated screen so you're looking up more. Bring your chin back and in when you're looking at the screen. And don't lean back against sofa backrests or bed heads to read, look at gadgets, or to watch TV. If you've been doing a lot of those things for years, your muscles and joints will actually adapt to that forward head position and it can be hard to straighten that back up. But I've done a video on how to correct forward head posture, so rather than go through it all again, I'll just put the link in the description below. The second cause of constant tension in these muscles is lifting your shoulders slightly without realizing it when you're holding things or reaching out for things. So here's some examples. Reaching forward towards your mouse or your keyboard for hours. Make sure you position your mouse and keyboard so that your elbows are beside your body. Single strap bags. We often unconsciously lift one shoulder to keep straps from slipping off. So a bag with two straps is always better. Carrying luggage or anything heavy really. Learn to lift objects without elevating your shoulders. Carrying or breastfeeding babies. You can try a baby support platform and use pillows for more support while feeding. If the joints at the base of the neck become jammed or restricted, this causes constant tension in the local muscles. If that's the case, releasing the trigger point will help, but then you'll find the knots reforming. Poor posture is the most common cause of spinal joint restriction in this area. So again, I'd look at addressing your posture. But if the restriction is chronic, you may need to see a chiropractor or an osteopath to release those joints. Being cold or stressed are other causes of subconscious shoulder tension. Now, one's pretty easy to sort. You just put on an extra layer of clothing. The other one, well, that's not so easy to sort, old stress. Um, but what you can do is try to increase your awareness of what you're doing with your shoulders. Now a watch that chimes every 15 or 30 minutes, or a clock app or something like that, that goes ping every now and then, is a good way of increasing your awareness of what you're doing with your shoulders. So there's your four main causes of knots in your shoulders. Step number one is always trying to figure out what the cause is, okay, and dealing with that first. Step number two is then treating any trigger points that you have. Now to treat a trigger point, the way you get rid of it is ischemic compression or trigger point release. So I have a video on that, and I'll put the link in the description below. But that's it for today. Hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, write a little comment, uh, consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. I'll leave it in the description in the link below. <laughs> a link in the description below. <laughs> I'll leave a description in the link below. Uh... <laughs>
<laughs> I'm linking this person. <laughs>